Hi, everyone. Your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 269, Tips Fast and Furious. So you guys better start taking notes or you know get your ginkgo, right? And so you can remember what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Or, of course, you can head to the show notes at uh, decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 269. And we'll make every effort to have them all there. And if we don't, let us know. <laughs> Today, we just thought this would be kind of a fun format. Instead of going deep, deep, deep into different tips like we do, uh, we would just throw out lots and lots and lots of tips in a really quick-paced format and uh, cover a lot of territory that way. So I'm going to kick it off. Have one offbeat element in every room. It adds personality. Oh, I had that one on my list. Oh, so sorry. did I. We're going to have a lot of tactic. It. Your turn. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Everybody needs a white pitcher to put flowers in from the grocery mm-hmm. store or from your yard. Okay. Good one. Yvonne? And I'm. Uh, uh, this is actually the top of my list. I, I'm not making this up. Go out to your yard or take a walk and bring something in from the outside. Oh, I like that one. And put it in your white pitcher. <laughs> and make it really weird, and then it's offbeat, and you've covered all three of them already. Okay. I'm writing these down, so bear with me. That would be a fun new episode. Let's remember that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Your furnishings, when at all possible, should be multifunctioning. Okay? So if you're going to get a bench... Make sure that bench has some storage if you can. Uh, if you are maybe going to have um, an ottoman or something, see if you can have it on casters or wheels so you can move it around. It could be a coffee table with a tray on top of it, or it could just be an ottoman for feet, or it could be extra seating. So when you're thinking about purchasing a new item, think about different ways that you can use it. Yeah. Uh, use a chair as a nightstand. Yeah. Or a garden Why? bench as a nightstand. Okay. Okay. Layer your doormat with a smaller with a small rug under it for that pretty layered look. Okay. I gotta I gotta ask. So your door we're even laying our doormats? This oh wow, yeah. Yes. I, was so I have too. a black and white striped rug. Uh-huh. And then I have my doormat that says welcome to Stone Gable on top of it. Nice. On my porch. Yeah, it's real pretty. Wow. Okay. So oh, well, a- so that goes to another tip. Okay. Get a customized doormat that has, oh, has that your was house one of mine name on too. it. Monogram doormat. Okay. And if you, you will put your house name on it. And if your house doesn't have a name, name, name your, your house. house. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You know, I struggle with that one because like, really? I can't call my house my soulful home. Can I do, but it's kind of well, weird, isn't it? That's kind of weird. But you can well, call no, it Stone you- Gable and you can call it Cedar Hill Farmhouse. Well, you have to have several names. That's well, really a problem, darling. You have to come up with three names. Okay, no comment on that. Back to you. We just so, have always uh, named our houses. It's an English thing from when I lived in England, and right. we just carried it through. I love that. Yeah. Uh, my house does have a name. It's on the plaque on the front of it because it's on the what uh, is National it? Register. Okay. Well, it's not, the, it's not really what I would pick. It, they named it after the people who first lived here. Oh, that's what they always do. That. The Hobbs Cox House. And you're like, oh. oh, that's not catchy, you know? I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, that's even hard to say. I think I know, you should have it changed. It's just, yeah, I should just change that. Take the H from the Hobbs and the C. Is it C or K from Hawks? C, C. C. And yeah. then make up, use um, an alliteration of those two. Okay. Well, you can think about that while okay. I'm telling you the next tip. Well, so um, it's my turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Clean. Oh, and somebody's okay. paying attention. Ugh. Clean and decorate your front door. Like if you would just clean it, sometimes front doors get so dirty. And oh, if you right. clean it, what a difference it'll make. Good one. Good one. Okay. The top of your kitchen cabinets. I know we say often, no, 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 no. Decorating up there. Get the baskets down. Take the cobwebs. Please, please, please get rid of the, the fake flowers. Okay. But here, here's something you can do up there especially if you're challenged for storage. Neutral, lidded, matching 
boxes. Oh, I, I did love that in it. my closet. I did that, and it looks mm. very nice. Yeah, mm. it looks nice, right? And you have storage. It really does. It really okay. does. Okay, this how about this? This is a long this? tip to write down. I have to write this one down. Okay, keep going. Uh, use produce as decor. So grab some apples, the pears. I mean, apples really last the longest. If you get some green apples, Mm -hmm. that's perfect. I mean, you can use anything. Well, especially now, I mean, it's the white pumpkin time of year, but or squash or anything. But yeah, grab some fruit or vegetables. Produce as decor. Uh huh. I hear you flipping your page. You must be writing like crazy. I I want these show notes to be Uh uh, be all we promised. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Fluff your sofa and your pillows regularly. Mm-hmm. Yes. And all I can think of when I say that is Doubt and Abby. They would have the scenes where the the maids would literally like throw the big cushions on the floor a yeah. couple times and fluff them. But you know, you want to turn your your seat cushions and you want to fluff things up and they'll stay plump and pretty. I, I also picture now them beating the rugs with those big wands, right? <laughs> with Outside, rug beaters. Like, oh, all those all that dust coming off. So yeah. <laughs> Maybe you want to shake yours out oh, too. Well that that'll be for my next one because I have one in that sort of goes with that. Oh, okay. So in let's go into the bathroom for mine. Install a mirror in the bathroom the length of the vanity. So if you have one of those built in vanities, picture mm-hmm. that. You know, mm-hmm. oftentimes there's two even two sinks. So it's pretty large, right? So if you install a mirror in the bathroom, the length of the vanity and go all the way up to the ceiling, it's going to exponentially expand the feel of that space. Oh, Oh. how pretty. Yes. Speaking of expanding the feel of the space, how about taking almost everything off your kitchen countertops? Uh, That was one of mine. Yep. Except what you absolutely (laughs) have to have. And just leave something pretty on there. That white picture. Yeah. How about this one? Vacuum often. Okay. Now I know you. Um, I know Kelly likes this. Anita, maybe not so much. But <laughs> well, also, I don't mind it as long as I'm not the one doing. You're it. not doing it. <laughs> also, think about getting a uh, a robotic vacuum cleaner. I love mine. Yeah, I want one. Get me one. Hey, Get well, they one. used to be super, super expensive. We're talking about the Bobby Pet because that's my favorite. Yeah. They really have come down in price because they were, oh, you know, new and the best thing at one time. So right. they're still the best, I think. Right. Um, and they're not that bad. Okay. All righty. Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. It's your turn. Go, oh, girl. Okay. All right. I have to say this one because yesterday I think I beat my own record. What? 11 cans yesterday. What? Of what, you ask? Of what? I know. I know. <laughs> 11 cans. It just came. What on earth were you spraying? What wasn't I spraying? Did you spray paint your house? Peter's, ch- <laughs> Peter's <laughs> duh, ch- dummy chalk paint now. No, I paint. Yeah, I painted the exterior. I spray painted the exterior of my home. No, I, I spray painted um, 20 pumpkins. I oh, spray painted two big uh, planters. I did a wooden box, big wooden wow. box. I did um, two, oh, two tiny little pumpkins. I did a lampshade. I was spraying lampshades. I, that I, I don't know what I took so long to get around to that, but that was fantastic. Um, yeah, and everything. I went out this morning and I gave it a little extra. Sh- 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 before I came up here to podcast. So everything should be really done when I go down. So spray paint okay. something. You don't like I'm it? I'm guessing spray you spray painted, painted it. it gold. No, I did a lot of matte white. black yesterday. And oh, I did yeah, oh and a very little dove gray chalk um, for a couple of the pumpkins. Oh, but my man, they goodness. look good. Oh, you nice. go, girl. Yeah, yeah. And a little tip if you are spray painting pumpkins, uh, either real or faux, take the cap of your spray paint can. You're not going to need it because you're going to use it all. Put it the pumpkin on top of it uh, so it's not sitting on the ground so you can get a little yeah. under, right? And then you really just have this, that little circle to deal with when you flip it over. Oh, that's Okay, clever. I'm going to stay in the painting realm. I just No, wait a minute. Through. It's my turn. <laughs> um, Already I'm being talked over. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anita. <laughs> okay, so using real bowls for your pet's food. How about that? 
Oh, oh uh-huh. I use Pretty ramekins. <laughs> <laughs> well, your pets are so I have, tiny. I have tiny pets. <laughs> Just the perfect ramekin size. But also okay. you can use um, vintage china, which is so fun. You get a little bowls. I mean, they can be matching or not matching. Or if you just have one pet, you could do a um, you know, smaller size. Depends on the size of your pet. It depends on the size of your pet. You might have to use the soup tureen. You could use the soup tureen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, that is so charming. Because, you know, in the pet department, there's well, not that many and, cute know, options. Yeah. Well, here's another thing. Let's Let's keep moving along. Paint something white. And um, here's a here's a tip. If you use a chalk paint, and I use Amy Howard, and I, I actually sell it. I love it. You take a little bit of Vaseline, and you um, rub it around the threads on the top of your jar and on the top of the lid, on the inside of the lid, so it will come off and on easily. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. And that would probably work for lots of things. Uh, yeah, probably true. not spray paint. Oh, that's spray paint because you don't need that. Because <laughs> right, really exactly. No, okay. but if, I mean, wouldn't that work on other things that are hard to open? Um, depending. Okay. Okay, let's keep keep rolling along here. No questions. No questions. Kelly, can be your, asked. Tu- your turn. Okay. Um, if you have a radiator that's exposed, mm-hmm. build a cabinet around it, and uh, you can use the top horizontal piece then either just as a shelf or you could have a cushion made for it so you could use it as seating or a warm seat yeah extra seating or you could use it as you know a display shelf or something like that just be careful that you don't get too close to the radiator because there's going to be heat coming out of it so you want to give a little space for the air to come around and if you wanted to drop something in the front of it you could get some metal um, sheeting they sell that at home depot and that way the air can still circulate Okay, here's my establish a No, color. wait a minute. It's my turn. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. Am I going to have to step in as the moderator? Mm, uh, you might. <laughs> you I just, I'm so excited to do the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've lost it. No, here we go. Uh, change out your lampshade. Because I think we buy these lamps and the lamps usually stay in style a lot more, longer than the lampshades. Or maybe the lampshade's just kind of dirty and dingy looking. Yeah. So that's or cheap looking. That's right. Yeah, or cheap looking. We've talked about that because we we always this is our mantra: better expensive lampshade on a cheap lamp than the other way around. Here's the next one: establish a color scheme. Establish a color scheme through your living areas um, with about three colors, like a main color, then then one that's a, like a 30% and a 10% and stick to it. And that way the things in your major living areas will all, you can change them up and move them around and they'll all work together. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. BritBox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. 
And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Archie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story. The dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting, but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter Jennifer Grant and ex-wife Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing. And it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. Whose turn is it now? I think it's your turn, Kelly. (gasps) Fabulous. Yes. I'm going to take you outside for a second. It is now October, mid-October. You still have time in most parts of the country to plant your cool season veggies. I just had breakfast over the weekend that involved tomatoes from my garden. And talk about elevating your morning as we were recently. Mm. When you eat something that you have grown, it is just a fabulous experience. And there's nothing like vegetables straight from the garden. And you walk, you know, for me, 15 feet or so, and you're back in the house and you're eating them. They didn't come on a truck. They didn't travel long distance. right? And they weren't picked early to then ripen in some you know, shelf somewhere, they are absolutely delish. So look into the vegetables that would be cool season vegetables in your area. Get yourself, even if it's just one small container pot and pick one vegetable type. If you've got a small pot, plop it in there. If you're lucky enough to have room in the ground, go for it, put in whatever you want, and then see what happens. And I know that when you your crop comes in, you are going to thank Oh my That's gosh. a good one, Kelly. That's we're going to plant garlic uh, probably this weekend. Oh, I have a post all on planting and garlic. Oh, I, I love it. I love it. Okay, put that in the show notes. I will. I think I'm going to say add dishes to your wall. Okay. Well, it was actually my turn. <laughs> oh! Okay. I, I have, <laughs> this is way too funny. I have the word K A and Y. Do I need to come into? I no, I have it's to stop me. this car. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not her fault. It's mine. I have actually K and an A and a Y, so I know where we, where we are, and I still want to jump in. So I'm sorry, Nita. You can take my next turn. I guess I've lost it. <laughs> yeah, I think you've lost it. Yeah, yeah so all right. You forfeited a turn. <laughs> okay. Um, I love using a tray to display things. So that's a great way to corral, like we've said, uh, vin- your vignette. It's just a wonderful thing to use for so many things. So definitely get a mm-hmm. tray, have some trays and use them in your decor. All right. Now there's <laughs> now there's silence. silence. Well, yeah. I lost a turn. She's easing into it. No, we're going to give you your turn back. Come on now. Okay. Oh, I, I okay. The play. Add dishes ha, ha. to your. <laughs> Add dishes to your wall. <laughs> oh, that's I think one. that's such a pretty look. And, you know, maybe not white dishes. Maybe you want to do something a little different. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. And that, that's such a fun way to start a collection. You know, you decide I'm going to do transferware or whatever you're going to do, or I'm going to use purple plates and you find them. Okay. I know I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to amplify. I'm trying not to. It's really hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> Miss amplification. I am an amplifier. Okay. One more garden thing. I'll just keep them together. Uh, okay. Mulch. Please mulch. Please, mm. please mulch. It's such a nice thing to do for your garden. Don't even till. Do no till gardening. Save yourself the time. Just get yourself a lot of bags of mulch. It's the time to tuck in your plants for the winter and you're going to, they're going to thank you and you're going to be happier in the springtime because they're going to bloom much better and grow. Love it. Be happy. Love it. Yeah, that's a great idea. So another idea is if you need some extra storage space to use a fabric cover over a, a table and then kind of tuck your clutter underneath the table. 
So you could use that on See, so if it's a round table or even kind of a squared off one, I mean, you can just kind of, I've even done it with a square table before. Uh, You just kind of tuck in and maybe iron your corners. So it looks really neat. Oh, that's a really nice one. Yes. How about creating a bar and keeping it stocked? Now, whether you... (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Whether you... Whether you want to use it as a bar or something uh, that is maybe a mocktail, depending on, you know, your preference. But that's a really nice thing to have around the house. It's a great idea. I like that one. Yeah. Go on to Amazon and buy yourself three decor books that you love and get them (sighs) gently used. And I bet you're going to spend probably under $30 for all three of them if you're a savvy looker. And Definitely. enjoy them. Go through them. Get inspiration and then stack them up on your coffee table. Try to pick ones where their spines go nicely. <laughs> and, yeah. You're going you're gonna to like that. Or you can cover them. You can. But mm-hmm. I like to see that they're decor books. Like, you know, oh, okay. I want to see like Houses of the Hamptons. You know, mm-hmm. I want to see that. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to know what they are. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. The other thing you can do is hang mirrors across from windows so that it's reflecting the light and it kind of begins to feel like more windows on the wall. Okay. Next one is layer pillows. Just don't let pillows hang out one or two. You need to layer them for a big punch. Different sizes, lumbar, rectangle. Maybe even round. Yeah. Yeah, I love round pillows. If your rug is slipping or it just doesn't feel right underfoot, perhaps you need a rug pad. There are a lot of great rug pads out there made of different materials. It's not just necessarily that plastic waffly stuff that does tend to stick to your floor. There are some really nice rug pads out there in the universe, and it will extend the life of your rug, particularly if it's a um, a quality rug that you, you've invested in. You might want to think about having a rug pad. It also, a, a rug depending on the backing, could be doing some damage to your hardwood floor. So you want to peek under there and see what's going on. Yeah, no, that's a good point. And another thing is add something black to every room. It's going to ground it. It's going to add some depth. You want lights and darks in every room. So I think every room needs something black. Okay. How about swap out two dining room chairs for a bench? Yeah, I've done that. I like that. Nice. I'm writing these down for bench. Okay. <laughs> you can see that we did not so rehearse we have, this. So we have usual. to wait till you're done writing. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing very cryptic. I'm, I'm not sure what these are going to look like. It'll be like, uh, swap out a rug for some mulch. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to maybe combine some of them. Um, okay. I had an idea. This is a, a really basic one. Get a, it doesn't have to be giant, but a nice size shopping bag, like one you would get if you went to Macy's and bought sheets or something like that. A big bag and go around your house and fill it with stuff you don't want anymore. Put it Ooh, in your trunk. I like that. Don't put it by the door. Don't Kelly, fall I love victim. you for that. Yeah. Don't fall mm-hmm. victim to the coffee mug scenario that Anita had to oh, live through. Yeah. Don't put it by the door. Put it immediately in the trunk of your car. If anybody asks what it is, you just say, oh, that's dry cleaning. And then <laughs> oh. don't let them look. So Just put it in the car. So and then they won't ferret, eat it. ferret away everybody's stuff, lie to them and go take it away. <laughs> exactly. And you'll be happier. I know. Yeah, that's right. Happy, you know, your, mom is happy. Happiness. That's right. Uh, you want to change? Um, Wait, it's oh, my go turn. ahead and eat it. It's your turn. <laughs> I corrected myself. I to save it. Okay. <laughs> Add a stack of books as a riser because, you know, we love vintage books. Oh, and so you can stand on stacks. stacks of books. It's fabulous. <laughs> well, yeah. If you're short, that would be good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ch- I'm going to stay with pillows. Change holiday, um, change out your, your regular pillows for holiday and seasonal pillows. And I'm going to just top that up with another one to really to make your pillows look more luxurious. Give them a little chop every once in a while. Uh, well, the chop is very controversial, so I'm not yes, sure. Yes, I know. That's why I, I put it in there. there. Okay. I had a different one now, but since it makes sense, I'll do this one. If your pillows are not all they can be, it's probably because you didn't buy them at Bespoke. No, no, no. <laughs> it's probably, could be, but it's probably because your inserts are not good. So if you bought, I just bought some um, 
I didn't pick them out, but a, a client of mine picked some pillows out at uh, Cost Plus World Market, World Market Cost Plus, whatever mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, um, I'll go and pick them up for you. And boy, I said to myself, hmm, these are why the, these pillows cost only this much. The, the inserts were horrendous. I mean, the, the outside was fine. It was a color she wanted and it was a good price point and, and all that was fine. But the insert was terrible. So I said, you know, we're going to have to switch these out. And so then she agreed. And then, you know, we ended up having to buy inserts and they're not completely inexpensive. You know, they're not free. So you've already bought a pillow cover and then you're buying these additional inserts. So if you have a pillow cover that you love and it's just not doing what it should be doing on your sofa or chair, it's probably the insert. Okay, Kelly, we're going to cut you off because you've like embellished every single thing we talked about. So we're going to cut you off a little bit. Okay. 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 All right. This is the person that keeps taking two turns, but that's I okay. know. I know. Hey, Whose I know. Turn is it now? It's, it's Anita's. Okay. Hey, that's good. Okay. So wallpaper the back of your shelves. I think that's a fun thing to give oh. you a fresh look. Yeah. Or paint them a different color. Just something vibrant to tr- contrast with whatever mm-hmm. you have on the shelf. So if you have something white and then you could even go like a dark gray on the back and it'd be really poppy and pretty. That sounds beautiful. Mix and match your tableware. So, you know, don't set all the same plates, all the same cups, all the same bowls. Mix it up a little bit. I think it looks a lot um, more personal and pretty. Excellent. Excellent idea. Uh, Wash your windows. (gasps) Yes. Mm, That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Or hire someone to do it. Don't don't be dangerous. Don't be living on the edge of a of a ladder. No. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's too scary. <laughs> yeah. Add some texture, especially if you have neutrals. You really need some texture mm-hmm. in the room. That's the secret weapon. That's the secret decorating weapon for neutrals. Okay. Um, I'm saying hide all your cords. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co dot C-O slash DTT and use the code DTT. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. 
Oh, mm-hmm. good one. That's, you know, and easier said than done, I must I say. I know. But I'm not allowed to expand, so I won't. <laughs> That's okay. You can say a little. <laughs> I'm just going to say don't, don't turn your, nup- your nose up at duct taping the cords to the back of a leg of something. Yeah, no, no, no one's above that. No one should be above that. Uh, Make sure that you have three sources of lighting in each room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Add velvet, especially this time of year. Some velvet pillows. Ooh, or throw. Luxurious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell you to color block your books on a shelf. So if you want to really, a look that is really looks like it's put together, uh, use the same color spines or co- or paint them or cover them or choose the spines of all of one color. And that's a really pretty designer look. Hmm. Okay. How about this? Um, throw off, if you've got something very symmetrical, uh, like say two chairs with the same pillows on them and they're on the other sides of the room, throw it off a little bit. But you could use a throw, by the way, uh, to throw it off. Just to put one over the arm of one chair. Just make one slightly different than the other. It might make you twitch a little to switch the pillows out. So just add one little extra thing. Okay. I've got to go run and do that in my living room. Okay. Go throw off your symmetry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Replace your shower curtain. I think that's something it's easy to forget about. And what yeah. a big difference it's going to make because it's such a huge part of what you see when you walk in the bathroom. It's so big. Yeah. All right. How about get rid of your tchotchkes? Think less is more and bigger is better. That's three. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how to spell tchotchke. Okay. It begins with a T. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. And there's a C in there somewhere. I know. I'm, I'm, terrible terrible spelling. Kind of, I'm stalling because I'm trying to figure out how to spell tchotchke. You know, and one person's tchotchke is another person's precious mm-hmm. moments. I mean, another person's <laughs> important thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. There's so many good things. Hey, if your draperies don't feel full enough, then think about adding a, yeah, like, I don't want to say a stripe, but adding like a, an additional panel to them. Even if you can't get it in the same color, maybe you want to add it, add another color to it or add white or add a, more of a textured fabric or something like that because your draperies really need to be full. That's a good point. That is, about- I, w- I wouldn't have thought of that right away, but that is a really good point. Yeah, as long as you're just adding it to every window, especially and on this, side, and if you I keep it, yeah, great. coordinating, yeah, yeah. So how about using a trunk or a trunk like basket for your coffee table if you want to change things up? I like it, and I like yep. it because that has the storage. I do that in the summer. It's wonderful. Um, my one is creative vignette. Mm-hmm. Can't believe Always have fun to create a vignette. us there. Big bang for your buck. Okay. Add fresh flowers. Uh-huh. Good one. Mix metallics. <gasps> fave. All mixed up. Oh, fave, fave, fave. Okay. Um, and the other one is only buy what you love. Oh, my gosh. Save yes. you a ton of hot headaches and a lot of money. And you know what? That says it all right there. Only buy what you love. And, you know, and it's true. It's even cliche by this point, but you'll make it work and it's going to be great together. Can I just embellish a tiny bit or, or I, did I, or do I, have I lost that privilege Isn't because that I called you on it? Isn't that interesting? I know, I know, no, but I have such a me. great example. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm only going to embellish this. I bought a, an armoire for my bedroom and I can't wait to do the reveal of my master bedroom, but I haven't done it yet because I'm waiting for one more piece. So I bought this armoire and it was moderately priced. I got it in and I knew I shouldn't have bought it. I mean, I just knew. I mean, I liked uh, it very uh, much. I love the inside of it. The outside just didn't work. I got it in there. I tried to buy baskets to go above it to make it look bigger. I thought about covering it with fabric and I just thought, <laughs> forget it, Yvonne. I mean, like little, like wallpaper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought, forget it, Yvonne. You, this is just not, it doesn't work in this room. So I bit the bullet and they're, they're, t- God bless Wayfair. They have been so good to me. I mean, their, their um, customer service is excellent. The, and I got this one. Now it was like three times the cost, but I love it so much. I can't stand it. And it's oh. coming in a week, but I looked at it and it just like, 
caught my breath and I thought, oh, I hate to do this, but I haven't decorated my room in 23 years. And I've done very well pricing out other things that were very reasonable. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to do it. I can't, I get it. I get it in two weeks. I can't wait to get it in my house. Oh, how exciting. But I went through a lot of angst that I didn't need to. And you returned it then? Yes. And they were fabulous about wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Returning an armoire is not. Uh, yeah. They can't. They, no, they come and pick it up. I don't want to be making that phone call. No. Oh. And they were wonderful. I had no problem. I got my money refunded that day before they even picked it up. Oh, my goodness. And they came to my house to pick it up. Wow. wow. So only use what you love. Well, yeah, because you can't just pack it up and send it to the post office. No, but they're 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 excellent. So Wayfair, we give Good. them a big shout out. But the moral of the story is, it, I, I it just took a lot of time and angst, and I know I've got readers waiting for this, and I feel bad. But just get what you love. If you know, figure it all out. You know, and once in a while, you just have to do it. Okay. Well, I think we've covered so much territory. I know we have. And we might as well end on the tip of only buy what you love. And uh, that is a good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. So, hey, thanks so much for coming and, and doing this with us today. I thought even though, you know, <laughs> it was fast, I, mm-hmm. I did embellish a little bit, but I thought it was really fast and furious. It was we got, wonderful. We I got didn't lots number of them because I was, yeah, so, but we did what was we trying had to write lot. them down so quickly, but I think we got a ton of them in there. Well, you know, we have to do a part two because I have just as many we haven't talked about. So, okay, you know, if you, hey, if you like this, if, there, if you are listening and you like this, send us a quick note. Decorating tips and tricks. Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah, and send us any, yeah, yeah. Any, whether you liked it or not. I mean, we'd like to hear if you did like it, but send us your tips, send us your questions. I mean, we want uh, listeners to be on the podcast. So please let us know. And And with that, we thank you so much for listening. And remember, we want to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody, we want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. So until next time.